48 baby Got a little candy in her pocket She gon' take off like a You already know Dirtied up a couple on the north side Let me scoot y'all up. How y'all do? I'm a little shy. Wait, because I'm nervous. When I be nervous, I always try to eat something. I don't know. But hey, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe, for those of you who do not know. Hi. You can subscribe if you want. If you don't, that's fine. Today's video is going to be what I do after school, after class, whatever. It's a typical day for me. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday? It's Tuesday. I don't really have anything like spectacular planned. If you're new here, I go to Prayer View. One. Two, my major is sociology. Three, I have four classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you want to know those classes, you can watch my college vlogs. That's if you want to. Right now, I am hungry. I had Chick-fil-A like earlier today, but I don't know what I want. I'm always indecisive. Then I always end up choosing what I always eat, but it's like, bitch, switch it up sometimes. Like, we're sick and tired of Chick-fil-A. We see Chick-fil-A Every vlog, we get it. You eat Chick Fil A. Kusha, she that's my. <laughs> Read. Oh, I don't know what to eat. This is my problem every time. I'm thinking panda, but like, is it gonna give? Like, I need something that's like gonna fulfill. Like, you know, I need it to like hit, and I I can't think of nothing that's gonna hit right now. Like, what am I gonna eat? I don't. Know. Oh, help. I don't want Chick-fil-A. I do. I could eat Chick-fil-A though. That can happen anytime. I can go for Chick-fil-A because I really want some ice right now. I know I keep talking about ice. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop talking about ice because I'm here like, damn bitch, shut up. Wing stop. Mm -mm. Wing stop though? Really? Wait, I'm trying to imagine myself. It's not gonna hit. I don't want water burger. That's not gonna fulfill my. Mm -mm. I don't got time. I need to figure this out. Okay, I need to figure this out by four o'clock. What's out there, bro? Yo, we got another boy trying to talk to me. This is not the time. This is the wrong time for some boy to try to talk to me. I'm so in my own world right now that another human being in my space would just bother me. So I don't. <sighs> This is not the time for boys to be trying to talk to me. Talk about something. When you coming back out here? Don't worry about it. I'm not coming to see you, Otis. I do have one spectacular thing, sort of, kind of. I am going to open gym tonight. Open gym is when a gymnastics gym has, like, you can do whatever you want to do. There's no class, no nothing. So I'm going to go there because tryouts is coming up. And, you know, I need to work on some stuff. I want to get something new. But we're going to see how that go. Oh, y'all want to see my hair? This is the girl that did my hair. If you go to PV and you need your hair done or... If you just need your hair done, period, go to her page. This is what she did. And then the back is just some box braids. I'm not list braids. What was I doing? Trying to figure out what I was going to eat. Um, fast food. Oh. Sorry. Who? Jada Davis. Oh, she's so pretty. Jada Davis, whoever you are. If you're watching this, I just looked at your page. And you're very pretty. You just followed me. Fast food around me. Fast food near me. They keep saying Chick-fil-A. It must be a sign. I don't like Subway. I don't want that taco. Oh, that's what that taco truck is called. We not in a location where I could just drive and see what I want. Mm -mm. I don't no this is annoying me i just want to eat something so we're in the car now as you can see and i changed my clothes because it is a y'all it is such a beautiful day outside it's not like too hot but it's like hot enough and then it's windy a little bit but you know it's a cute little day guess what i decided to get let's say it together one two three chick-fil-a we already know that the disrespect chick-fil-a can never fail me so chick-fil-a eat but y'all let me tell you about um my teacher real quick because she she like she's rude for no reason i don't first of all i don't think she likes me and the boy that i be talking to in class he don't think she likes me either so therefore she don't like me two people is enough to come to one conclusion i was not there to take the midterm whatever whatever because i went to alabama you'll see that vlog is coming soon you know i went to her office prior to this day like a week ago i went to her office and i was like um let me tell you about that first, first of all before i had a meeting with her i went to class and i sit in the back of the class because you know me i like to sit in the back i like to look at the people i like to observe so i sit in the back of the class and then this boy he eventually started sitting next to me more often and we would talk in class but not like disruptive like it was like you know we have little conversation but if you know her she's a little strange anything you do she gonna like say something to you so we would have like little conversations we're not loud and we don't talk the entire period but i like to sit with my legs up as i'm doing now because that's just how i like to sit and i'm comfortable like that so i would sit in the class with both my legs up in the back of the class not bothering anybody 
when I went to her office to see about how I can make up this midterm exam, she starts off the conversation with, You are used to very late in my day class. I don't give up. Miss ma'am, I'm here to talk about the midterm, not how I sit in class. I was just looking at her like, once you start to annoy me, I don't respond. Like, I just let you have it. Just go ahead, talk, say what you gotta say. I'ma just, mm-hmm, and you know, go about my day. And she was like, you and Mr. Blank, because I don't want to say his name, but she was like, you and Mr. Blank, you guys be having a lot of side conversations during my lectures. And I was like, um, we're not even talking about how I'm sitting or what I'm doing in class. I came to you to talk about the midterm. Why are you bringing this up? So clearly that has been heavy on your heart that you just held it to this time when you see me. So I'm just like, okay, she must have been like, had this built up prior to this little meeting because why are you saying this all of a sudden? She scheduled for me to take it at one o'clock today and I have her class at two o'clock. I don't have a class before her, I have an hour break. I went to her office like she told me today, Tuesday, just come to my office, you can take it, okay. I went to her office, I sat there from one o'clock to one thirty. My class with her is the first floor, I was on the fourth floor, that's her office. I was sitting there, she didn't come, whatever. Two o'clock comes, I go to class, she comes in. I walked to her desk and she didn't say anything to me. So I just started talking to her, I was like, um, you said it's before I can finish anything. She said, oh, wait, 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 very rudely. Why are you gotta be so rude about it? Like, you could've just said, wait, hold on a second. Can you come on, card? Thank you. I was like, okay. Instant irritated because I don't like people being rude for no reason. Like, I didn't say anything disrespectful. I didn't come at you wrong. I didn't do nothing wrong. I'm just simply trying to have a conversation with you and you're being rude to me for what? So she walked out the classroom, comes back. She was like, what was that? I started to talk again. I was like, we had an appointment for one o'clock. She was like, I can't hear you. Why are you being so rude right now? So I took my mask off and I was like, we had an appointment at one o'clock and you didn't show. She said something about, no, I was there and I left early. No ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. My class before that ended at 12.20. So I was at her office around 12.40. So there's no way you would have left early, Miss Man. I said, we had an appointment at one o'clock and I was sitting there from one o'clock to 1.30. She's talking over me. She was like, well, I'll just have to reschedule. So inconsiderate of my time. Like, why are you being so rude? As I was saying that, she was saying that over me. So then I just didn't say anything. I just walked off because I have nothing else to say to you after that. I went to go sit back down. She was like, I need you to come sit on the opposite side so I can remember. Why do I gotta sit on the opposite side of class? You just don't want me to sit next to that boy. You're not slick. She be thinking she's slick. You're not slick. You're trying to get me as far away as possible from that boy. Before that, she told me to move up because she don't want anybody sitting in the back. She only said that because she didn't want me sitting in the back. So then when I moved to the front, the boy that was sitting next to me, he moved to the front with me. And I'm just like, why are you, why are you picking on me? What did I ever do to you, Miss Ma'am? I didn't do nothing to you. I'm not rude. I'm not disrespectful. I don't talk back. I barely say anything in the class. So I don't know what she got against me. We had Chick-fil-A now. I literally had Chick-fil-A this morning. I had chicken minis. But today I tried it with um with jelly instead of buffalo sauce. It was good. It was good. Hold on, I need to see if I have three dollars. The gym, open gym is three dollars. And I think I Oh, look at the bitch, bro. Oh my God, I have exactly $3. Look at God, he be knowing I need it. Oh, uh, I'm debating on if I want to sit in the car and eat or go back home. I mean, back to my room, that's not my home. Oh, I thought they was going to take it through the little uh, little thing thing, but there's people outside. I don't like that. I think I want to sit in the car, but it's Tuesday, which means Zane and Heath posted a new podcast and I like to eat and watch Zane and Heath, but I want to talk to y'all. I don't know y'all. I'm going to have to talk to y'all later. I mean, I think y'all seen enough mug banks. I've had enough of those for right now. Do y'all know my chick-fil-a order because what if we hang out one time and like i go to the bathroom and i need y'all to order for me i need y'all to know my chick-fil-a order this girl looks like her name is like sarah sarah chloe maybe savannah let me see hello hi i'm gonna get started for you um can i have a cop salad please cop salad it's next to the window okay thank you her name was grace i was kind of close you know i was in the right range of name i don't feel like she got my order right she looked like she was struggling i hate taking people's orders because i be very frantic you know how it works like hands and i gotta take people order order i just be feeling like <laughs> too much pressure. It's just me putting too much pressure on myself. I be thinking they be putting pressure on me, but they don't even be caring. Not my music playing. <laughs> Them bent ass fingers. Woo! That's so funny. I got this shirt in Jamaica. I love getting souvenirs. That's probably like one of my favorite things to do. Just so I can say I got this from Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? Not too many people can say they got something from Jamaica. I can. Y'all, this pimple right here got to go. My skin is actually. Ooh! Now me showing y'all my. Red and call y'all gonna steal my money. They always be messing up my high school lemonade mix. But I be checking them every time. Yeah. Uh, is that lemonade in it? Thank you. Thank you. Can I have a large cup of ice, please? I didn't get a cookie. Is it on there? Always check your food before you leave. Damn. Every time I see this Burlington that I used to work at, it just brings me back to that depressing 
face. <laughs> I wasn't really depressed, but like, jeez, that was a terrible job. Ooh, they gave me a fresh, warm cookie. That's rare. Yo, I asked them for a high C lemonade mix. They just gave me high C. You seen I gave it back to them, and they still just gave me high C. I can tell when they give me lemonade because you know how lemonade have that like, like the pulp on the lemonade? If the lid in the cup doesn't have that pulp, it's not lemonade in here. I gave it back to them, and they gave me back the same shit. So I decided that I want to sit in the car and eat my food. I like to sit in my car for the simple fact that I'm as close as outside as possible, but not being outside. I like to sit outside when it's windy and the bugs. It's just, no, no thank you. I got me a cob salad and I got me some mac and cheese. And then for my dressing, I put creamy salsa and light Italian. My mom put me on to this salad. I've always wanted to be a salad bitch, you know, that eat salads and stuff, you know, real cute or whatever. But you know, I could never find a salad that was good. I wonder when I'm gonna get tired of Chick-fil-A. Will that ever be a thing? I hope not because I love Chick-fil-A. But hey, how y'all doing? Whoa, I ain't never ate this chili pepper by itself. And it's so good. I still haven't listened to the movies. I really want to go. Oh, I did go to the movies when my mom came in here. But that movie was so ass. I didn't even finish it. I have homework, but it's not due till Sunday. And that's the only thing I have to do for homework. It's my psych homework. I might or might not get to it tonight. Because I do have work tomorrow. Unfortunately, I have work from 9 to 4. How many hours is that? 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. 7 hours. Oh my goodness. I am not a fan of long shifts. Anything beyond 5 hours. It's just too long. Like, I shouldn't be sitting on my feet for 7 hours. Hours, I don't think. I don't think that's good for me. Oh, y'all ain't gonna lie to you. My manager was getting on my nerves the other day. I just feel like she kept telling me to do stuff. It was like, I'm not the only one that's working here. Why do you keep calling on me to do stuff? Zoe, 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 can you do this? Zoe, can you do this? Tell Zoe, do this. Tell Zoe. It was getting to a point where I started replying to her. Like, she would tell me to do something. I would just not. I wouldn't say, okay, I'll just go and do it. I wouldn't say nothing. Because it's like, okay, girl, like, how many times you gonna keep saying Zoe name? Do y'all be watching Messy Monday? If you don't, you need to start watching it. Oh, Zoe, I just love when they post. It just brightens my day. It just makes me happy. No, don't start the podcast. What are you doing? Woo! This salad is so good right now. They are working me so much the next two weeks, but that's okay because I need to start paying for my trip stuff, like my outfits and little stuff that I want. One thing about me, when I'm going on a trip, I need all new clothes. I can't recycle nothing unless it's just like a shirt or like some shorts, okay? But most of the time, I'm bringing a whole new outfit that I just brought from the store. So I'm kind of glad they working me because once May come, I'm going back to California. I'm gonna tell them I'm gonna come back, you know, just in case I want to come back to Canes because Canes is a cool job. I, I like it. It's cool, whatever, but you know me. Just the idea of working, it just it don't fit me, you know. Especially working those types of jobs, it's just not something I want to do. I'm so excited to go home. I'm always excited to go home, and then once I get home, I'm like, all right, I'm ready to go back now. Every time it never fails. Okay, but I'm gonna stop talking now, and I'm gonna watch this podcast, and I will talk to y'all once I'm done. Okay, so I'm done eating now. I'm still sitting in the car. It's been like 30 minutes later. It is 5.37. I want to go back to my room kind of early because I'm trying to do my homework before I go to the gym. It's due this weekend, so I have time. So I'm not too worried about getting it done today. So if I don't get it done, oh well. But I'm going to try to get it done so I can make my life easier for the rest of the week. I'm still sitting here watching Zane and Heath. It's an hour and 38 minutes. I'll probably watch this like before I go to sleep. I have work tomorrow. That's so depressing. To know that you have to go to work tomorrow, it's worse than like waking up and going to work because it's like, Dang, like, I can't even do what I want to do tomorrow. I'm always complaining about this job, y'all. But I'm going to go to work. But dang, like, dang. One day, I'm not going to have to worry about this. And I hope that day is coming soon because I'm quite tired of it. Let me show you the Burlington I used to work at. Look at this depressing Burlington. I hate to see it. You want to know what I did? They had me at the door. You know, this was like low-key when the pandemic was still around, right? You couldn't take the cart outside. Like, you had to leave them in the store because they had, like, this little, like, tracker thing. So as soon as they passed the door, it would lock. So I would stand at the door take the baskets from people put the baskets back and then make sure there are baskets ready for people to take how boring is that and i would be there for like eight hours guess how much i got paid eleven dollars an hour i'm used to california getting 15 14 dollars an hour what am i gonna do with eleven dollars that was so tragic and i really went to work when i tell you i was down bad freshman year i was, I down, was down bad, bad. this little uh oh not my leg up this movie theater that's the bougie one where it got the little recliner chairs and they bring you your food i still need to go see jackass I haven't seen that yet. I need to go. I should leave. Yep, it's 5:40. Perfect time to go. This is what my surrounding looks like right now. That's the parking lot. There's
there's this it's like a furniture store and then movie theater burlington and then the food places there's more food places over there like chick-fil-a i mean yeah chick-fil-a chipotle over there and then right in front of me right over there this whole like area that is the shopping center like the mall it's not a mall what do you call that the outlet one thing i hate i hate having like left trash in my car and there's no trash cans nowhere around here where i could just drop it off i don't like that because then i got to take it all the way back to campus that just bothers me okay guard come on now i'm excited for you guys to come to gym with me so y'all can see me do a little flip or two y'all already know what's gonna happen we're gonna listen to some music right now in my previous videos y'all been vibing out i fuck with y'all i was gonna go and i might have fucked up this little amazon truck like two of my other videos some people had commented about the music i've been listening to if we can relate on music we're just automatically best friends because i feel like a lot of people don't have my music taste well the people that i know they don't have the same music taste that i have and i can honestly say i only came across three people with my same music taste i know what you think Back in my room now. I'm about to try and do some of this homework real quick because I want to leave. Ooh, first of all, let me see how far this gym is away from me so I know what time I need to leave. 42 minutes away. Good God. Good God, man. You almost got the cheese touch. It say 30 minutes away. I will leave at 8 o'clock, get there at 8.30. Till then, I'm going to try and do this homework really quickly. So embarrassing. I brought my computer out in class and I was watching something last night. So I started playing. I was embarrassed because everybody could hear it. This is my only assignment. I did everything else yesterday, which was Sunday, which was Monday actually. Monday and Sunday I did homework. Ooh, oh, this is the wrong class. I'm like a B. I want to be in this class. My homework for today is for um, psychology of personalities, which is my only online class for the semester. I'm talking quiet because I feel like my roommates can hear me. All my groceries is gone and I don't want to go grocery shopping again. I got one month left. What? Do April 10th. Why he put this extra assignment on here? He's trifling for this. What is it? Write a two paper two page paper i thought i was done when is when is april 10th sunday that Ben i be this weekend i'll be mad okay it's definitely next weekend i feel so rushed right now but like nothing is rushing me i'm rushing myself for this assignment we have to we have to take this test it's a personality test so we take the test and then we have to write a one page response saying rather you agree with what your results got or rather you disagree pretty easy assignment i don't know if i can get it done in an hour it takes me forever to do assignments for some reason because i'd be procrastinating and then i pick up my phone and then i'd be on tiktok for like 20 minutes and then i'd be on the computer then i'd be on youtube and then it's just back and forth and i just don't know what i'm doing and the next thing you know it's it's 10 o'clock and i still didn't finish my assignment so we're gonna see <laughs> personality test. Somebody's talking about they had to pay for it. It's ma'am, that's not coming. I'm not paying for this. Let's go through this together, shall we? This is what it looks like. I don't wanna move y'all because like the way that I had y'all set up was kind of perfect. Strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, strong agree. And then we have to answer these questions down here. Okay, so I am a warrior, meaning I worry a lot. Um, I kind of do worry a lot, but like, what's a lot though? Like, is a lot, because I feel like I worry a decent amount though. So, mm, I worry neutral. I'm gonna say neutral. Do I worry a lot? But then again, I don't. I'm gonna just say neutral, whatever. I make friends easily makes a whole video about being a loner i mean i make friends easily okay i'm gonna say positive i don't think it's hard for me to make friends it's just that i'm picky okay i have a vivid imagination i don't know what does vivid mean that doesn't mean like like really real i'm gonna just say yeah i don't know i trust others yeah no yeah i trust people it's me trying to like convince myself i complete tasks successfully positive very positive i get angry easily negative no i don't i really enjoy large parties and gatherings not really not really a fan of that i think art is important i strongly agree with that art is very beautiful i sometimes deceive others to get my own way no that's very narcissistic of you i don't like things to be a mess yes that's oh hello do you see my room i often feel sad negative i like to take charge situation events yeah 
yeah i experience deep and very emotion no i don't think my emotions are that deep i love to help others mm, yeah i always keep my promises for sure i find it difficult to approach others no i don't i am always busy always on the go yeah i like to be productive i prefer variety to routine no i don't know what that means i love a good argument a good fight when is other people i'm gonna say neutral because you know i love a good tussle i work very hard uh hello do you know me i'm just kidding i will over one thing about me y'all i can't read when it comes to big words i'm not even gonna try it what i over in Indulge. What does that mean? Like I overdo it? Too much of something. Have too much of something enjoyable. No, I don't do that. Wait, what is the definition? I know I know when to stop. Um, I love excitement. I do. Especially when it's me. Ugh, best feeling ever. I enjoy reading challenging books and articles. No, that's just not fun. I believe that I am better than others. No, no, I would never say that. I am always prepared. 100%. I panic easily. No. I am a really cheerful person. I agree, but not strongly agree. I tend to support progress and reform. I don't know what that means. Well, what is reform? Me. I sympathize with the homeless. I do. Because the niggas be having it hard. I am very spontaneous. I act without thinking. You know, sometimes you can be a little spontaneous. I fear for the worst. Not really, but I always think of what are the outcomes and I always think about the positive and the negative just so if the negative happens, I won't be surprised. I feel comfortable around people. Sometimes I think I have social anxiety. I'm gonna just say yeah because I don't be like weird. I enjoy wild fights of fantasy. I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm not saying I agree. I believe that people basically have good intentions. I think people do for the most part. I hope when I do something i always do it well for sure hello do you know me i get irritated easily not really i always chat to lots of different people at parties no no i see beauty in things that others might not notice a hundred percent i don't mind cheating to get ahead what do you mean cheating if it means like but to get ahead though no that's fucked up how many fucking questions is it a 120 i'm gonna go through 10 more with you guys and then i'm gonna speed it up because i don't want you guys to sit here and hear me do all this i sometimes dislike myself never have i ever disliked myself i believe that there is no absolute right or wrong I agree because who are you to tell me that I'm wrong and who am I to tell you that you're wrong I make rash decisions no don't know what rash means but I trust what people say yeah I mean if you said it you said it that should be the truth I prefer to be alone hell yes I am indifferent to the feelings of others I don't even know what that means I break rules sometimes I only really feel comfortable with my friends kind of true I do just enough work to get by sometimes it be like that Ooh, okay here's my results openness to experience 49% out of 100 I'm guessing con Cons Yo, I don't know how to say these words. These are my results. I don't know what that shut up don't come for me i don't know what that says whatever whatever describing a low range scoring person oh okay describing a high range what is high what is low okay i'm imaginative open-minded yes experimental prefers creative instead of problem solving okay well organized strong sense of duty yes very high scores could be described as workaholics i'm low-key a workaholic i'm not gonna lie it says outgoing friendly yes assertive in a way likes working with others no i do not enjoy direct leadership roles not really compassionate yes eager to please very much so experiences negative emotional reaction and feelings of anxiety I be saying that all the time I be feeling low-key like sometimes I'd be like anxious for no reason prone to worry not easily upset in situations I'm not really upset a lot I think I'm pretty relaxed and I think I'm pretty calm let me take a picture of this I kind of agree with this for the most part for the most part okay let me show y'all these were the categories this describes a person if it was a low score and then this describes a person if it was a high score so for this one I got middle and then this one I got very high this one I got middle high and then very low if you want to take this quiz yourself free personality test online at 123test.com if you actually do it come back and tell me what you got after we do this what do we do let me make a little word document he wants APA what the fuck is APA what you mean session inspired don't ever disrespect me like that I'm gonna stop at eight o'clock hopefully I can get it done but knowing me I can't do things in a timely manner when it's when i'm timed on things it just stresses me out so i'm probably not gonna get this done but it's okay at least i started it you know so drop the roof and let the smoke clear i got diamonds doing just the slides in both ears nice falling on the las vegas trip tonight slip that on and we might miss the fight fuck or not i keep the quality in my shorty back There are some boys outside playing with water guns. I think that's kind of cute. Just wanted to let y'all know that. I want to join. No, no. Back to the montage. Just stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit. I dropped 30 on this room, we ain't gonna sleep for shit. If I catch you not enough, then it's gonna be some shit. Well, you can do what you wanna do. Hey, I'm watching your videos so good. Thank it's you, thank you. Better and better every fucking video. Thank you. I'm literally filming 
going on right now? Say hey, people. Uh, this is Kendall. One supporter, period, bitch. Period, period, period. Okay, so I didn't finish my homework. I'm gonna finish it tomorrow when I get off work. It is 7.53, so I'm about to get ready to go to open gym. Let me exit this out. Let me minimize this because I might need this again. And let's close this computer. Grab my chair shoes. I'm actually gonna wear this. This is normally um, what I put on just to sit in my room. I just have on this Bob Marley shirt and then I have on my PVAMU shorts. But I don't like how it be like falling and then it make me look like I don't have any pants on. So I'm gonna tie this up with a scrub so it looked like I got pants on. Got my socks on. Um gonna bring my chair shoes and a mask just in case. I'm about to go get in the car. It's 7.56 right now. I need to grab my keys, my phone, can't forget my phone, my wallet, and my batteries, and my shoes. And that is all I need. Should I take a bottle of water? I should. Because I might get thirsty. One thing about me, y'all, I'm always carrying a thousand things in my hand. Like, I'm never not carrying something. Look at all this. Never fails. <laughs> So I will see y'all when I get to the gym because it's dark outside and I don't want to put the camera up and you know You can't see me. So I will see y'all when I get to the gym This is the only light I have in my car. I made it. It is 831. I actually made it on time I said I want to be here at 830. I'm just waiting for the other people in the church team to get here So yeah, I'm just sitting in the car till then. Why did you take to the group chat talking about some we have an event as a cheer team We have to do like the middle school day where like kids that are in the middle school come to PV I will be at work from 9 to 4 and it's from 9 30 to 12 p.m So therefore I will not be attending that which is absolutely fine with me because I've been ready to wrap it up <laughs> I'm ready for the new season, babe. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for me amigas to arrive Binky ring we're about to be deep Two tone my Lambo that's drippy Put a left the bottle now she tipsy Can't trust these hoes cause they hit me I know that your best friend gon' slide now Party at my house that's survive now Pulling on these hoes like LeBron now Spitting off the top it's a freestyle hey, I'm about to run it up I'm about to pull up in that motherfucking Billy truck hey, Got some bad bitches in it about to fuck it up hey, and we take it shit over just to sum it up. Say hi to the vlog, guys. <laughs> I'm low key struggling. Sorry. I'm trying to see a better day. I'm trying to get this front punch and it's just not coming. She's trying to get it with. Trying to get it with too, but like, goddamn, all this shit. She's underestimating herself. She's literally over here throwing it. Very Bro. And everything. No. I didn't even show y'all the jam. I'm just sitting here talking. That's a look. Ooh, okay, Beery, Beery. Beery, 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 Beery. This is what the gym looks like. Go ahead, boy. Flip, 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 flip. <laughs> Y'all, if Zoe doesn't do a toe touch, she gotta get signed, okay? But I'm tired. Yeah, I did all my requirements. They was ugly, but I did it. Seriously. Keep shooting me, but I did it. I let her do an aerial and I landed in. Uh. Yeah, you just gotta do it. Okay, period. Oh, bro, you better shoot her. He's my favorite tip. That was cute because enough. I did an actual toe touch and I messed up. I know I landed.
What's your problem? So, <laughs> I'm back in my room, as you can see. I just want to start off by saying I'm very depressed about my nail. I broke it and I'm very depressed about it. I just got these done like not even two weeks ago, bro. And these are so cute. Look how cute these are. The color is just brown, simple, elegant, cute, and now it looks so ghetto. Look. I don't like going to the nail shop just to get one nail fix. Like, if I'm gonna go to the nail shop, might as well get the whole set done. You know, mine as well. <laughs> it was cute. The gym was cute. I was trying to get that front punch, but it was just not coming. It's whatever. It is what it is. I need to take a shower and I'm going to sleep. It's 10.52. I like to be in the bed by this time because I like to have time to where I can chill and just watch Netflix. <sighs> That's so annoying. I'm so mad about my nail. Like, you don't even understand. I know I'm being dramatic, but let me be dramatic. Damn, like, and I broke it. Oh, I didn't even tell you how I broke it. So, Sydney was trying to stunt with this boy this was like his first time doing like partner stunning which means it's just her and him her feet are gonna go in his hands like this and she fell forward I just wasn't it just didn't process that she was falling by the time she hit the ground you know I realized oh I should help and I just didn't help and then I just put my hand out like a dummy I tried to catch her I don't know what this was gonna do but I did it and then when she was falling she just scraped my damn finger and now my damn nail broke so depressing i know i'm gonna be sore i already feel it like my abs they hurt i hate putting on this scarf when i have um these braids because it looks like i'm bald i need a meal like i feel like i need to eat something let me go get in the shower don't look at my head stop seriously i said stop you're still looking you don't listen i just feel like this camera's gonna die so i'm gonna change the battery everybody else basic you live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice poetic justice I told you that a flower bloom in the dark moon, what you trusted? I mean, I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you and you're in the mood for empathy, it's blood in my pen. Better yet, with your friends and him. I really wanna know you all, I really wanna show you off. Fuck that, hold up, plenty of champagne, cold nights when you curse this name. You called up your girlfriends and your girl in that little bitty range. I heard that she wanna go and party. She wanna go and party, nigga don't approach her with that Atari Nigga that ain't good game home is sorry They say conversation, rule a nation I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs Unless I write it down for real, P.S. I really hope you play this Cause old girl you test my patience With all these seductive photographs And all these one-off vacations you've been taking Clearly a lot for me to take in It don't make sense, young East African girl Too busy fucking with your other man I was trying to put you on game But you want a plane Take you and your mama to the motherland I could do it, maybe one day When you figure out you're gonna need someone When you figure out it's all right here in the city And you don't run from where we come from That sound like poetic justice Poetic justice you were so new to this life, but goddamn, you gotta just. This is my favorite time of the day when I get in the bed and I'm done for the day. I have nothing else to do. This is my favorite time of the day. Did y'all just see something? Okay, good. We don't need another hole in the shirt. It is 11.31. I finished at a good time. I thought I was going to be done at 12. Oh, not y'all can't see me though. I look so uncomfortable. Guys, listen. I know I wear the same stuff to sleep, but I promise you I wash it. Pretty sure I wear this shirt to sleep. Probably five videos by now. But I promise, like, I wash them and then I like, wear it again. I just have a rotation. You know, it's like the same five shirts the same five shorts i don't like wearing pants to sleep that just seems uncomfortable like imagine wearing pants i would only wear pants to sleep if like you sleeping at your friend house and she didn't give you a blanket like that's the only excuse to wear pants to sleep my wi-fi is acting so stupid right now it's actually pissing me off i'm gonna eat these crackers i just want to tell y'all okay so i got these little club crackers first of all these are the best crackers if you say ritz you need to stop but listen i know this is probably like very y'all don't care but i'm gonna tell you anyway i didn't even oh i didn't even see okay we're just learning things. We're just learning new things today. I didn't even see this. It's a little grab and I already opened it. Why did I open it on the side? It was already open. I didn't know these were snack sizes. Look how cute this is. Like the little snack. Tell me that's not cute. But like, I'm sitting here, I'm opening. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to sit here with the box like just and grab the crackers. No, they have little snack sizes. I'm not gonna lie. When I seen that, what was that yesterday? It was probably yesterday. It made it wasn't yesterday. That was a long time ago. I don't, I don't remember when I seen it, but just know when I seen that it was snack size, I was very excited. I looked so uncomfortable. You know what? Who cares? Honestly, this is my dinner, y'all. College student. 
But the thing is, I'm really not hungry. It's just the idea that like, I should eat something. Bro, what's up with the Wi-Fi? Like, what's up? Seriously, all I wanna do is just watch some Netflix. Why is that so hard right now? I don't understand. Oh my gosh, I have a work phone? That's so ghetto, like what? I literally forgot. I didn't finish my podcast, so that's what I'm gonna watch right now. At this time, I put something on for sure. Like something needs to be in the background. Normally it's YouTube or I find something to watch. You guys know that I plan every day in my notes. So today's Tuesday, I would check off everything and then delete it and then move Wednesday up because tomorrow's Wednesday. And normally I would look over what I have to do tomorrow so that I mentally prepare myself for the next day. This is so unnecessary, like speaking about it, but it's just so routine to me and it is so natural that I don't even have to think about doing all this stuff, I just do it. But now that I'm telling you and saying it out loud, it seems very like you're doing too much, sis. I understand I'm doing too much and that's fine. So I do that, what else? Honestly, I just look through my notes because I have everything. I have all my YouTube videos planned. I have, I honestly just look over my goals just to remind myself like, oh, I wanna do that. That's literally what I do. It sounds so like stupid and like, what? But I literally do that. I don't know. And this is the first time I ever said this out loud. So just know that I'm I'm with you. And I, yeah. And then what else do I do? Um, or I just go on YouTube. I mean, I just go on my phone, watch TikToks. And I normally go to sleep. I used to go to sleep early, like 10. When I had spring break, I started going to sleep at like 1 and 2. So now I've been going to sleep at 1 and waking up at 7. But one thing about me, I need my sleep. So if I got to go to sleep at 10, I go to sleep at 10. Because I hate waking up tired. That's the most annoying thing to me. Because it's like, I can't sleep? Why can't I sleep right now? Like, I'm tired. I should be able to go back to sleep. But today going to be another sacrifice. It'd be like that sometimes. It's time to pick my roommate for my next, um, apartment and I'm so scared I feel like because the longer you're here I feel like the less chance you have of finding good roommates because I feel like all the good people already found their friend group but me on the other hand I don't know nobody who I feel like is like roommate material so I'm kind of nervous I just hope I get clean decent roommates like we don't gotta be best friends we don't even gotta speak but as long as you're clean and like you don't do too much I feel like we should be fine I prayed about it every year I've been praying freshman year I prayed got a good roommate this year I prayed got good roommates I'm gonna pray again and pray I get good roommates. I can't wait to go home because when I get home, all the fun shit's gonna start happening. If y'all have any recommendations on types of videos that you want me to do, please leave a comment. I have a lot of videos planned already. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my little um, night routine slash after school hours. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me, but I love y'all and I thank y'all and I appreciate y'all for fucking with me. I will see y'all in the next vlog.